Hey guys, welcome to Solo React Talk. Today, I'm going to be reacting to World of Warcraft cinematics and trailers, playlist done by Jesse Thorpe. This is part 22. If you want to check out my previous parts, I'll put the card right up here. Just click on it and you'll be able to access them. Okay, let's start. Okay, three, two, one. All of it? The entire shipment, down to the last sack of grain. This one's the only survivor. One Sunday, do not take me yet. What happened? We were bringing supplies to the war front. Just like all the other times. Here come the pace. We got to get these supplies to our soldiers by dawn. That was scary <laughs> that was scary i don't know what that was i i think it was that shape shifting um dark elf i i'm not sure who they are talking about exactly i i, I can't recognize those people but wow that speed the way it was just going <laughs> just hitting everybody killing them and then the ground, the very ground was eating an orc. That was terrifying. That was just, wow. Um, yeah, Tides of Vengeance. I think they're at Tredassel, maybe, because I could see the tree behind there. It looked like it was uh, burnt down. So I'm assuming that's the, the, the old tree, Tredassel. But um, maybe it's... Uh, Tosande, is that her name? I've, I forgot her name now. Yeah, Malfurion and, and, and Tosande, right? Maybe. But I can't recognize them there. Yeah. Okay, let's continue. These words Alliance Dogs. The Zandalari have been here longer than you could ever dream. Look! No matter. 
matter what happens this Go. day. Go! Zandala will stand long after your pathetic alliance has crumbled to dust. I like his accent. I like the king's accent. <laughs> Sandala forever. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. I like it. I really like that accent. Um, yeah, it seems like the alliance is heading over to Zandalari. Um, they're going to invade, probably bring down the kingdom of Zandala and the king and the princess if she's still there i'm not sure um but yeah it <laughs> looks like it was fun you know all the different maps uh the pvps the well it looks a bit mm, cloudy i don't know if it's like that the whole time you're there like there's no sunlight but it's okay it's okay um it's not it's not like pandoria with the greenery and the sunlight almost every single day but you know it's okay it's okay um yeah okay let's continue with ancient words i invoke your most ruthless face with this offering I demand to wear your darkest face. Okay, so Tasande is that character we saw there um, in the first cinematic for uh, what is it called? Tides of Vengeance, yeah. And probably that guy with the green hair, that was Malfurion, okay. Because um, he kind of looks different from the Warcraft 3 reforged, forged, you know, version of him. He looks different. I mean, here he looks bulkier and menacing and like a beast, you know. And I don't think they actually, you know, showed his powers like how they're showing them here in uh, Tide of Vengeance. I mean, the things he's doing, that super speed and, and you know, allowing the ground to, you know, eat someone alive like that. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that looked nice, looked good. <laughs> Every Kul Tiran shares a bond with the sea. 
From the tides we draw our strength, our courage. For a time, we let fear and distrust divide us. Lost in a storm of doubt, we forgot what it meant to stand as one people. As one family. Today, Cool Tyrus proudly flies the Alliance flag once more. Whatever awaits us on the horizon, we will face it together. Okay, are Cool Tyrus people like natural waterbenders or something? Um, I'm just asking because I, I just saw, I think there were, maybe they were just mages, I don't know, who were busy conjuring water on the, on the boat. So I'm not sure. It looked like there were waterbenders, but I could be wrong about that. Okay. Zandalari have ruled this land for thousands of years. With the Loa's blessing, our sacred blades and mighty ships commanded the seas. But over time, our empire grew stagnant. We stood alone. Threats from without and within rose up to challenge us, to test Place among the great kingdoms of Azoth. Zandala forever. Zandala forever. Um, <laughs> what happened to her father? I mean, isn't the father supposed to be like the ruler? Maybe he's dead and that pact that he had with uh, the lower of death. What was his name again? Um, uh, Wom Samid. Yeah. I'm sure the pact is still active with the, with the entire family, so she still has it. And yeah, I'm quite surprised because I, I expected to find him on the throne, not the daughter. since we spoke peacefully in Theramor. Theramor is gone. You did not ask me here to reminisce. No. I have come to return one who was lost. Derek. My own brother. I had thought better of you, Bane. So tell me, is he the Banshee's puppet, crammed full of blight? Is he the fall this time? Yes. That was the plan. But Bane took me from Sylvanas before. Before I was twisted to her will. I'm still your brother, Jaina. For as long as stars do shine. Oh. 
horde has a sickness in it. We wage war while the Earth Mother dies. We have forgotten what truly matters, and my heart can bear it no longer. Sylvanas will kill you for this, and she may not stop with you. No life is worth living if we can be true to our nature. I return home to take what solace I can in my family. I hope you take solace in yours. Okay, yeah, Savannah's really has brought the horde into into disrepute, you know. They are fighting with no honor. They're doing things that they wouldn't necessarily do without good reason. And we have yet to find this good reason why she's doing all the things she's doing. And I was wondering uh, whether Sorafan would be the only one who would break away from the horde, but it seems like uh, Bane is also, you know, joining in, in, you know, distancing himself from the leadership. And he he brought back Jaina's brother. I think I saw Jaina's brother when he came to Calteris with the fleet. Uh, I think that was him, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think that was him. But now he looks... I don't know, like he's almost dead. <laughs> maybe may, uh, maybe he's an undead person, I'm, I'm not sure. But his eyes pale and his skin, it looks like it's peeling off. He just looks very ill, you know. And yeah, I'm just hoping that nothing happens to Bane. He looks like a good, you know, a good horde leader. And when this is over, they might need him. To lead the horde i don't know if his leadership uh, material per se i'm not sure about that but since uh who Th um sorafang I'm, I'm not sure if he wants to be a leader uh thrall is not here um who else ah, i'm trying to remember all the horde leaders who were at the table having a dinner at the end of uh legion you know when they defeated uh saragras and they and you know they were celebrating their victory and all that stuff and bane was saying a speech and everyone was there at the table i'm just trying to remember who else was at that table um there weren't any people who were of any importance or of note so i'm not sure who's going to become the leader when sylvanas is let me not go any further than that. <laughs> because I still like my Banshee Queen. I don't want her to die. Yeah. home now. Home. And family. And where are they? Not 
not far. This world, well, it looks good, but it's wrong, broken, falling apart, just like the Horde. done while you've been hiding. I left that life behind. I'm no one's savior. I will not lead the Horde. I didn't ask. But I hoped you would at least fight for it. Okay, guys, that was part 22. Um, how old is Thrall? Is, because I can see Sorofang, he's an old orc. You know, he has gray hair. You can actually see there's some wrinkles on his face. But then when you check at Thrall, Thrall looks, still looks like a teenager. <laughs> he still looks like a teenager. That guy, he's got long, black, fresh, you know, hair. He just looks young. He looks very young for someone who I consider to be very old at this time. But yeah, he looks very young. Um, I'm just wondering about Bane. What's going to happen to him? What's going to happen to his family and to his uh, people once once Savannah hears about this? Um, because like Jaina said, he's not going to stop at just you, uh, at just that Bane. Um, she might kill everybody. So I'm just wondering, will that cause some sort of like a division in the Horde uh, when that happens? And uh, the Tide of Vengeance. Malfarion and Tassande are really scaring the hell out of me. Especially Mal uh, Malfarion. He is scaring me with that power that he has. Um, especially that super speed and him, you know, shape-shifting into different creatures. Oof. And also that power where he can just uh, allow the land to eat you alive. That was... Oh. And the screaming from the orc. I mean, when last did you hear an orc scream? That was frightening, okay? I mean, even orc is screaming, then you know this is bad. This is really, really bad. So, oh, I'm just scared about what's going to happen to the horde. You know, those who are going to stay and fight like uh, Nathanos. I don't think he's going to make it.
these guys are on on a revenge pass uh, re revenge path and they're going to be killing anybody and everybody who is part of the horde i can see that happening um i'm i'm not sure what kind of power to sunday has but it looks like void void magic as well um, i'm not sure and yeah the zandalar the zandalari people are led by a queen by you know, the former princess and i'm just wondering what's going to happen there uh with the law of death what's his name again i um bomb summit yeah i'm just wondering what's going to happen because i think she's still having that the deal right the bloodline deal uh that the father struck with the law of death so i'm just wondering what's going to happen there and yeah I guess I'll have to wait until next week for part 23. Whew. Thrall is back. <laughs> Thrall is back. He's back. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, guys, that's it. Remember, if you like the video, please give me a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, click on the notification bell if you want to be up to date with my latest videos. And I'll see you on Friday for another in-depth look into Battle of Azeroth and then next week Monday for part 23. Okay, bye-bye.